honor will boil it in. <sighs> Look, my friend. Here's the deal. You need to just stay away right now, okay? Just tough it out, you say? Be a man, Falcon? Okay, I'll be a man. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll man up. I'll man up. Right, you think I'm scared of that dog? Man, I'll fuck him up, too, like I fucked up his friend back in the cryo facility. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Neo Scavenger. We have two mods going on over here. We have the comic-styled HD retexturing and also the um, Depths of Gaijas by Kavin as well. So, um, first and foremost, this will be the last episode I plan to record here today. The last three episodes were recorded in the same day as this one here for one. And number two, this is the last one, meaning I wanted to do more of a revisit of Neil Scavenger. There was no really a big plan to make it a series again, but I will leave it open for a series. So if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments by leaving a like and commenting as well on the video that you want to see some more. And we'll consider it going forward. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up here. But at the very least, I hope you've enjoyed the revisiting for, um, you know, old time viewers and new viewers. If you're enjoying the series and good on you. And it's a really fun game in case you weren't, you know, familiar with it. Anyway, let's get onwards right now and um, get underway over here. Have you checked the city out? Or this little town? I feel like we probably have not, right? There's definitely a chance to over here explore. Let's go ahead and end our turn here for one. Is there more scavenging to be done in this forest? No, there's uh, there's an abandoned mobile home in the forest. That's actually quite interesting. Do we have an extra torch to make this happen, though? One second. We've seen how useful it is to actually look for items, or at least go through places with a torch as well. No, our torch went out already. So, we have a fire here still, so here's what we do. Oh, as a matter of fact, hey, I have a brilliant idea right now. Since we have a ton of dirty rags and we have a nearby fire, and we have a sled now to carry more stuff with, how about we make a ton of, um, you know, torches for now, huh? So let's go into this and we will do... Ba -ba 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 -ba. We're looking for a crew torch. Go ahead and use the dirty rags, that's actually quite ideal. So with this, we'll have a ton of, um, you know, continuous light source going forward. And it's all fine dandy. How many, how many is this right now? We can stack up three and one. Oh, perfect. That's even better. So we will do... Man, let's make a few more then. Why not? We have a ton of dirty rags anyway. Dirty rags are kind of easy to come by. As long as you find some clothing, you can just break down clothing for dirty rags and none's the wiser. So we have three over here. Great. So how about we do this? There you go. So now we're going to have at least like nine light sources. I should make some more, but you know, let's just um, call it a wrap here. And we'll bring you down over here. We'll turn you on here pretty soon. We have two clean rags left over. How many dirty rags do we have left over? We have six left over. Huh? I might as well, if we have six dirty ones left over, we might as well just turn them into um, more torches after all. Who's going to stop me? What, is Mother Nature going to suddenly arise and be like, Falcon, you stop tearing down my trees and make um, torches, okay? Be like, you know what, Mother Nature? You're going to have um, plans to kill me later on once it starts getting really cold and stuff like that. So You'll have your revenge then, but for now, just leave me be. Woman. Just figure Mother Nature's got to be a woman, right? Mother Nature. It's not Father Nature. It's Father Time. Who came up with these things, by the way? Why is it Mother Nature and Father Time? Like, how do these two individuals unite to make, um, you know, is there a baby version of this? Like, you have Mother Nature, you have Father Nature. Who's, um, daughter, son, whatever, or, you know, you just, they say child, I guess would probably be more ideal, right? Father, mother, and child. Yeah. What's the child equivalent? Somebody tell me what that is. I'm now really interested, assuming there is one. Uh, so we have a ton of these, that's great, and we'll turn this one on right now. Known recipes. These tangents that we go on sometimes, man. <laughs> this is what Neil Scavenger does to me. It's all about the tangents, baby. Alright, so, excuse me? No, 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 no. You get down out of here. You come over here and unite with your friends again. Alright, there you go. So we have a lot of light sources left over. We have this, we have our good weapon over here. Let's go forward. Oh yeah, we're so thirsty. So we'll try to take care of that pretty soon. Let's um, check out this abandoned mobile home here first with our torch, and hopefully... Oh! Wrench is really, really good. This is um, capable of killing even Dogman, I've heard, with only one swing if you have the proper skills, if I'm right. But the only problem is that you have to get really up close and personal because the reach isn't really great, like the spear, for instance. But it could be really, really powerful. So, because we have a sled, there's no reason why we shouldn't have it in terms of a backup, you know, um... Desperation type of weapon, so we'll take it that for sure, and that's about it. Right? Yeah. That's all it here. Yeah. So, we still need to purify some water. There's water over here, so we can just come over here, grab some, come back over here, and do our business. Oh. My God. I don't think I want to do my business here anymore with Dogman here. No siree, Bob. Okay. We search and we run. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Please don't do this to me right now. 
alerted nearby creatures. St Dogman, stay away. Stay the fuck away from me. Don't come and ruin my run right now. It's going too good. Oh, good. Yeah. That's very nice. Alerted him twice. Stay over there. Go, go. Yeah, go away. You have business over there. Good. Feral dogs doesn't really bother me. They're over there fighting the Enfield Horror, apparently. So, there's a dogman down here. You know what that tells me? That tells me Falcon, you go the other direction instead. So, we'll try to find some water over here because we are thirsty, but yeah, I'm not dealing with that shit. Oh, as a matter of fact, wait a second here. Wait a darn tootin' second here. We could scavenge now. We'll use the um, open field. We'll use the botany. This should give us some water. No useful items were found. Wow, botany failed on me for once. What the fuck? You know what? I'm done playing the game. I don't want to play this game anymore. Since when does botany fail? It's supposed to be OP. Uh, of course, I'm being facetious, obviously. Um, okay, so we continue going down this way a bit more. Player is tired. Oh, yeah, we never got rested. We, we rested and healed, but we never actually got some sleep. Well, there's a shack over here. I'm just looking for some water first, though. There should be something over here. There's a town over there, too. Let's rest here for a second. Our movement speed is now down to four, probably because we're parched, yeah. Alright, so hopefully Botany comes through right now. It didn't as well, wow. Okay. We need to find a water source and then get some sleep afterwards. So, let's jump through this little forest here. There's some water right here, excellent. And what we could do now is just pick up water, bring it to the forest, start a fire, and do our business over here. Or, alternatively, we could just do it all right here, which is probably a better idea. So how about we do this? Let's um, use this up here. Let's go into our vehicle. And we just want to take some wood so we can start a fire on the fly. And also some twigs. As a matter of fact, we should carry more of this in our sled just because, you know, what's stopping us, really? Nothing. That's what's stopping us. Use more. And, you know, we have the chance to do it right now, so let's take advantage of it. You could come up and hang out here. Here and here. Okay. And I guess we could just flip you over and do that. Carrying a moderate load. <laughs> I'll show you moderate load. This is probably because we're obviously carrying a lot now, but also because we might be thirsty and tired. So whenever you're getting thirsty and tired, you start getting weaker and weaker, so you could carry less. So as soon as we take care of that, I think that should pretty much clear itself up. I could just leave some of the wood behind because we don't need all that, and that would probably get rid of that more than likely, right? Yeah, we can move up to four now. You know what? I think this is more than enough for the campfire. So, let's get on out of here. We'll end our turn. We'll jump into the water area. We'll pick some water. We'll boil it in. <sighs> Look, my friend. Here's the deal. You need to just stay away right now, okay? <laughs> I have things to do here. The problem is, what worries me, is that the campfire that we're going to, you know, turn on to boil the water might attract dogmen towards us, so we need to boil this and probably flee. The only problem is it's going to cost us turns to boil water as well. And we cannot carry too much water because we're, you know, missing containers. So I can't just grab it and run. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and drink the tannin tea now to make some room for this. And we have no choice. Oh, you know what? We have berries up here, though. These are partially restorative for the old thirst as well. So let's just have these guys here for now. Don't have the yellow ones, Falcon. They'll kill you. You know, it's not great, but it's something. Maybe we just boil water elsewhere because I don't really want to get involved with Dog Man. What do you guys think? Just tough it out, you say? Be a man, Falcon? Okay, I'll be a man. I'll be a man and die. Then I'll have nobody to blame but you for dying. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll man up. I'll man up. Right, you think I'm scared of that Dog Man? I'll fuck him up too, like I fucked up his friend back in the cryo facility. You, you think I forgot about that? No, no. Much like I never forgot about Dre, I never forgot about me killing that Dog Man at the cryo facility right now. So we have a campfire here. Let's go ahead and stoke this bad boy up as well. I'm going to light this fire. You know what? I'm going to turn the entire wooden area on fire to call this dogman over. Be like, what, dog? Yeah. Literally dog. D-O-G this time. I lit this campfire on fire and this whole forest with it because I wanted to fight you. I'm pumped now, baby. <laughs> you don't even know. I'm not even sure where this excitement came from. But I, I'm in a combative mood now. Obviously, I'm not going to go look for the fight. If he wants to come to me, that's a different story. But <laughs> let's be honest here. I'm not going to go after that dog myself. Alright, so let's go ahead and toss you, you, campfire, and water over here. I remember, we can stock more than one water, so we want to purify all this stuff. We want to drink it and then just store the rest of it in here. And then we head, that, head out. So, confirm. Uh, firm. So we have two now. We have a few moves left over. Firm. Firm. We have enough. I just want to have enough to at least jump one hex away. That's what I'm really looking forward to right now. This should be enough to kind of clear up our thirst, right? Alright, we have enough to move out of 
one hex away. So this is going to be it. Let's go ahead and drink sterilized water. Sterilized water. What else is sterilized? That's sterilized. This is not. That is. All right, so we'll drink this. Let's go ahead and store sterilized water in here. And then this is not sterilized. So we want to drink this. And this. All right, good. So as you can see, our hunger, thirst is fine. We still need a rest, but now we should probably extinguish that fire. All <laughs> things considering. Uh, what's the easiest way out of here? Maybe through the city? Yeah, maybe through here. All right, Dogman, stay away. I saw, I'm sorry about being a tough guy. I'm really not. All right, he's, he's gone. Great. I mean, he's not gone, but he's not actively chasing me down. All righty, good. Um, let's go ahead and before we check what's happening in here, let's do our usual business here, which is to start a little fire so we could actually light up one of our torches, friction to shit up here. And where is my torch at? There it is. Okay. So you come to my hand. And let's do our thing here with scavenging. So we have an apartment building. Decent loot, possibly. Oh. Oh, look. Hoodies. Probably that are better conditioned than the one that I have on. 5.9, 72, and 80. All right, perfect. So this is, a, this is a new one now. Put this on. Let's rearrange this and go ahead and empty the contents out from this one. Make sure to get my pills and string back. Okay, good. So, I need this, too. That's about it, though. Nothing really too useful in here. I guess we could probably carry more rags, too, right? Yeah. We're using the rags for a lot of these um, torches anyway, so we'll take this. Hey, you know what? You come along, too, my friend. Why not? Anything that I could sell? Not really. Let's start collecting the tinfoil, though, because we're going to probably need it for the... Assuming we continue with the series, we want to get to the end goal as well afterwards, so... This is pretty good. I'm still surprised we have not found one single crowbar or multi-tool as well. That's really kind of... chaffing my ass right now. Alright, this is fine. Let's check out the next one. Use the torch. Got stuck in an opening again. Philip Kindred is still relatively hefty. He he eats only berries the entire time, but he's still hefty. Not sure how that happens. No useful items were found. Hey, speaking of which, speaking of heftiness, what happened to our meat here? Oh, that's just going to almost spoil more than likely, huh? Hold up. Let's empty this out. 9.1. Yep. That is almost basically Dunsky. So, excuse me. No, no, no. Uh, I wanna. Oh, it has to be in hand, really. Oh, I can't. Eh, you know what? I I really don't need this bag anymore. So, we we'll just put it over here for now. Four point eight. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just keep it out here. A lot easier for me to see this anyway, and I don't have to like empty out the bag constantly. Sixty-five point five. Seventy-five. Might as well take the. Better condition one just in case. Still 65 and yeah. Okay. 9.1. I think you're good for one more turn. So I'll leave you there and then we'll eat you here pretty soon. And we still have another turn, right? Another billion of scavenge? Yeah. Oh! Oh no! Why would you tease me this way? Oh, son of a biscuit. Okay, so now we have a possibility here of taking this along with us. The only problem is that with the shopping cart basket, you could only push it. You cannot attach a string to it and then pull it. I'm not sure why. That should be an option, honestly, but you can't do that unless... Wait a, wait a darn toot in second here. Oh, I can't put you on top of the sled? Ah, oh, come on. Come on. I wanted to cheat the system here a little bit. This weighs a ton. Actually, it doesn't. It's only nine. So you should be able to... How much does the sled weigh? Well, we can't really tell because we have all these items on it, but by itself, it really shouldn't weigh that much more than this, right? Okay, so how do we play this out? Here's what we can do. Check this out. Um, is there anything more of value here that I want? Well, I guess I'll take the string here that I can carry. Uh, any more mechanical parts? Yeah, we want to take this along with us too. And that's really all I'm looking for. Let's stock up on fives over here. And if we can, we'll just take this extra stockpile here. And we have string. Okay, so what I could do potentially right now is swap. So right now we're at a um, movement of five. I could turn this into a vehicle. This is going to lose one movement because now we're burdened. Player cannot run in combat, not that we could beforehand. But player is now carrying a moderate load and their movement rate is slower. 
player also fatigues faster because we're quite burdened. But is this because we haven't rested? Maybe if we rest, we might be able to still push this around. So, we have checked it out. Yeah, I can't do that still. So we carry this here for now. I'm going to say we get some rest in this, you know, area if we can. There should be a place to sleep here more than likely, right? Let's find out. No, there's no campsites here whatsoever. Okay. I really wish you could mark the map. It says camp icon. Oh. Is that is that a mark? I guess it kind of works as a mark. Camp icon. So, like, maybe I could... Well, I mean, you could mark it on the map where you're down, but if you move, you can't see it on the big map itself, more than likely. Like, I would just like to remind myself, like, Falcon, the shopping basket is here in case you find the other parts needed to complete the cart. Well, we'll just leave it here for now. Let's see if we can get some rest, and maybe we'll try to give it another push once we're resting here. So, for now, we move forward. Did I leave anything of value behind? No, everything seems to be on me, right? Yeah, everything's on me. Okay. Our torch is still running pretty strong, although it should be... Yeah, it's done now. So let's come down over here, and this is where we should get some rest as a deer man over here, too. Nice, we can get some rest right off the bat. Do we want to search for it or just um, rest first? Let's rest first. Maybe we find a, a, a noise trap, too. That would be great. Let's go into starting a fire if we can. And then we'll use our torch to loot this area a bit more clear. So light that up. Get on out of my hand, my friend. Although, you should be able to be stocked somewhere. There you go. And where's the torch that's lit up? There it is. Okay. And let's go ahead and scavenge here. So, we have four. Good. Good chance of finding some good stuff. Hopefully, assuming it hasn't been looted already. Ooh, we got some... Hey, we got some potato chips. <laughs> or some potato crisp, as other parts of the world call it. Ooh, speaking of a, a trap, we have another can now. So... I think we can make this happen with pebble, string, and a container, right? So I think we're looking for tool noise trap. There we go. Yeah, so string, pebbles, and can will make us the noise trap. Confirm that. This is going to be really important for us sleeping going forward here. So we'll place you in here as well. This is good stuff. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, you used the one you had container. Oh, you idiot. It used the one that we were using to carry stuff around with, apparently. Was that my bad? Maybe it could have been my bad. Who knows? We'll put that in there. Oh, four gummy bears. Yeah, sure, why not? We have room for it now. And some more dirty rags. Can we carry more dirty rags? Absolutely, we can. And the tarp is going to be to make a, an on-the-fly shelter. Like, if we can't find a building to sleep in, we can just make a little tarp shelter and keep ourselves safe. So, you know what? Sure, we'll bring this along, too. And let's carry some pebbles flintstones as well, just in case we need to make some more of these noise traps. And we also want to stack up on the tinfoil. Oh, and a bottle. Sweet. Sweetness. Just noticed you. I need to be carry, carry more water going forward. As a matter of fact, go ahead and just stock on this one here for now. Okay, and let's go ahead and just eat this right now, straight up. And what we want to do now is just break down this bag into foil, which you can do that. So from that into straight up foil. And then that goes into our little stockpile of foil here for a tin foil suit down the line. Perfect. Okay. So that's looking pretty great. Let's go into scavenge, I want to say, and we want to check out the last few places here remaining. No items were found. Alerted activity. Try this one out. No items were found. And one more time for the road. And then we try to get some sleep here. Ooh, baby. What do have here? Well, it's not really that great. I'll take you just for, I guess, selling at some point. Cleaver, not really too interested in that. Another bottle is actually quite good. Okay, so now we are becoming a little bit encumbered with items here. But that's because we have a ton of this shit happening here as well. Oh, you know what? 6.4. I think we eat you and we wake up next time. Yeah, and for now, let's just place you here. We gotta rearrange this stuff here a bit clearer too. <laughs> the game doesn't want to rearrange it no, anymore. It's like, you know what, Falcon? You've done a good enough job. I think we'll just leave it ahead the way you did it. Alrighty, game. I know I do good. I'm fully aware. Let's go into getting some sleep then, because we're done <coughs> searching for stuff here. We have shelter. Is this better? That's probably better than this one, right? Yeah. So we'll sleep over here. We want to use our noise trap now as well. So in case somebody tries to get crazy overnight, we wake up and we hear them. So check this out. Alertness is down to red down here. Now it's gone up. So if somebody's wandering around trying to steal from us or kill us, we'll wake up, hopefully, and um, be alerted of it. 
And let's go ahead and get some rest now, which we definitely do need. Now, with this rest, we should try to go back to the cart and see if we can actually push it without losing any sort of movement. If we can, then perfect. If not, then, you know, we'll just come back to it at some other point. So let's go into our tent area. Let's make sure to pick up my noise trap again. Don't leave that behind, Falcon. Done it many, many times in the past before. Our fire went out as well, and everything is all good. Okay. This is quite splendid. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's try out the cart before we wrap it up here for today. We have five movement. We are well rested. Our burdened, you know, we're slightly burdened, but... Oh, you know, our meat probably degraded overnight. Yeah, that's my bad. I should have probably had it before we slept. Because um, it probably wouldn't have ruined had I just woken up like one turn afterwards, but I forgot about the sleeping. It's going to take more than one turn, obviously, so the meat did go bad after all. All this time carrying this meat around and ultimately for no point, right? Eh, it sounds like things I would do. Alrighty, so not a big deal, though. Not like we're starving or anything. So this is all fine. Let's go back and check out what's going on with this card over here. So with any luck, any luck whatsoever, <coughs> I'm not sure what's happening with my throat here. Probably good thing I'm reason good thing I'm wrapping it up soon because oh my throat's just suddenly hurting. No. We will still be burdened. So, cart, I'm sorry, I cannot bring you along. I'd rather be able to move five spaces than just four. As well as good as you are, you know, whatever, I'll just make do with the sled. But we're gonna continue marking this area as our camp icon just in case. So if anything, hopefully we can remember down the line if we find the other parts for it. For now though. We still haven't found a crowbar, so no point in going back to the facility for the mod. Hmm, we gotta keep searching. Have we searched up here? I don't think we have. Don't think we have at all, so I guess we'll head over to towards this side. It is getting kind of dark now. It's cold, clear, and dusk. Okay. We have a lot of things to check out over here, so... Let's start off by making the old... Friction fire. And we should start wrapping up this episode pretty soon, right? Yeah. Okay, let me just go ahead and get through this area first, and we'll wrap it up, guys. So, lit. All right. Maybe this will be the last, um, you know, thing that we do. And if it is, it could be lucky. Just give me something really amazing in this building. So, let's scavenge about. We have two to check out. This one isn't even locked for one, so that's actually pretty good. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, lighter! Hey, you know what? That's actually amazing. Now we don't have to constantly turn on, like, uh, make fires. So we can just use this to light our torch up. I'm so happy. This is actually the type of good luck I was looking forward to, as a matter of fact. Can't carry that stuff in there, but that's okay. So, lighter, I want to have you right here. Disposable bag, I guess we'll just put you down over here for now. And we still have one more area to check out. That was so good. You could even use the lighter as a source of light, too. As a matter of fact, is it as good as a torch? Yeah. It goes up to, like, the hyphen, right? I think it's just about the same. Maybe this is a bit stronger? Or is it the same? It looks the same. Honestly. What's your condition though? 97.2. So let's find out how much it uses up when you use it as a light source. So right now it's 97.2. We found nothing, but the condition for it now is... So it drops by one condition every time you use it. So I guess we'll stick using the torches, but at least now we have a way to turn on the torches without having to always make a fire, which is actually pretty ideal. Alrighty guys, we're wrapping up here for today as well. Um, this will be the last episode I'm recording for today, and also maybe for the little bit of a revisiting that we did here. If you want to see more beyond this point, let me know in the comments, and by leaving a like, and we'll continue going forward. Otherwise, just consider this a bit of a revisiting, and hopefully, um, I really didn't get a chance to check out the, the Depth of Gaijus mod. I'm really upset about that, because we couldn't find a crowbar, and you need some items to make it happen in there first. Otherwise, you could check it out, but it's going to be like, hey, you can't progress because you're missing something. Which happens to be crowbar, certain skills, certain items. I don't know. If you guys want to see more, though, I will show it off. But otherwise, I apologize for not getting to it. But I was busy looking for the items required for it, is all I could really say. Uh, but again, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. And by leaving a like, and we'll continue going forward. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.